Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. If you want to be a part of the chatter box for exclusive live streams and exclusive content and to be in a know of upcoming inf you know, babies, etc., etc., you can join a chatter box. It is a dollar and 99 cents to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old. Um, today, I am going to introduce you to you guys Gianna. Gianna is a full body silicone baby. She is uh, sculpted by Kathy Romero Biscotti. <laughs> I can't say the name, I'm sorry. But um, she is a part of Silicone Studios production. Look at me, look at me trying to make it sound all good. But anyway, um, so there's two websites for Silicone Studio. Now there's siliconestudio.com, which is mainly Jennifer Sussman Price sculpts. And it is some, I think sometimes you will see some of Kathy's stuff on there. Um, but then if you go to silicone studio, the number two dot com, you'll also see Kathy's work and then other silicone babies that she's, uh, have the rights to produce. Um, she has producing rights or, you know, so she's rights to pour them, I guess, and et cetera, et cetera on her page. All right. So to so find this particular sculpt. You would have to go to silicone studio the number two dot com that's where i found it anyway um so this is gianna and she is poured in a i don't even know like some type of soft blend i guess um and she has full armatures in her arms okay so she is not rooted she is not totally complete you know there's a little things I gotta you know go in and catch and whatever whatever but she's like 90% done um I just and I of course she hasn't been rooted I haven't even you know did her eyelashes or eyebrows usually sometime before I put them on video I do that at least that part but I haven't st even stopped to do that okay so there's her leg <laughs> Oh, and she's like 21 inches. Um, I haven't put her on a scale yet, but um, on the website it says she's like 9 pounds. So, those are her feet. I just wanted to come on and show some of her details. A lot of people have been asking about her. She's going to be a baby that's going to be available. I have not set her final price yet. Um... Just know that my silicone babies tend to go from anywhere from, uh, they well, I ain't gonna say anywhere from, but the range of, of actual full body silicone. Uh, my babies usually sell between four and four thousand and fifty two hundred, just to give people a range um, of what they usually sell for. Sometimes I've sold babies for less. For whatever reason, you know, I've sold them for less. Um, all right, so let's back up here a little bit. That way you guys can see her legs. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, she, she doesn't have armatures in her legs. So her legs are wiggly jiggly. This is her foot other foot um her big toe is separate on both feet all right like I said I I know there's little things that I I have to catch like maybe a spot here or there um oh look at what she wrinkles when I moved her like that let me see if you guys can see I don't know if you guys can see Hold your hand up there, Gianna. Okay, let's go up 
to about right here. I don't know if you guys can see. Like, I don't know, but when you move her like this, you can even, uh, it won't show. All right, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll try to show you guys later, but she does wrinkle up. All right. I am going to try to get this camera. This is the problem with recording. Sometimes you just cannot get the camera at a good angle. Okay. So I'm going to undress her fully because, oh, let's go to her hands. So yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's go up. We'll go up. This camera is so stupid and my lighting is messing up now. Why is the lighting changing on me? <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get the lighting right for her. Let me see, I need to pull some more light in. All right, let's see if that helps. Yeah, okay. All right, bear with me. <laughs> it's like, all of a sudden she started looking darker than what she is and I'm like, ah, the light is, like my lamps are like sliding down or something and I think it's also because I think this happened let's see there we go all right all right so all of her fingers are separate on both hands I know I'm kind of in the light when I do that so her hands are her fingers are all her fingers are separate there we go there we go. On both hands. So she has some little chubby hands to match her little chubby look of her face. I think her face gives me she's going to be a chubby baby. So I have, since the last pictures, in all her pictures that I've shared in, in, on Instagram and Facebook, she had not had her, like, her toenails glossed or her fingernails glossed or her mouth glossed. But here she does have her mouth glossed. And I love that I gave her. The, the wet little wet look in her mouth let me see if you guys can you guys can you see what I see so very hard to try to do this when my for whatever reason I think I I need to upgrade my lighting system or something because it's just not working out for me the way it used to I think they're starting to like dim but we're gonna work with what we got. I'll try to open this window, but I don't think that's gonna help us much. Ah, yeah, look at that. Ooh, good, what you put us. <laughs> she does take a full pacifier. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna zoom out for you guys just so I can get her undressed. So we might lose a little light here because I had to squeeze my little, my little self in there little part here you know it would make sense for me to put her on the changing table and do this but the lighting is you know it's just well I actually got five babies sitting over there still from the last video and I don't feel like trying to place them all so let's get her undressed here and I don't know if you guys can see but even just moving her arms all this wrinkle up so so naturally it's really nice all right little girl bear with me all right so this is this was a newborn sleeper it was kind of pushing it this one but um she can fit newborn she can fit some zero to three, I believe. Um, these are her ears. Uh, her ears. Little ears. She has nice ears too. Her little neck wrinkles when you turn it. She does her head turns from side to side. 
I was going to put her on a cute little hat, but I'm going I'm to wait just so I can, you know, show her. And Okay, so when you're doing her armatures, um, these armatures, you want to kind of, like, just hold it and, you know, be gentle with them. Um, this armature, as I spoke in her original box opening, um, I think you definitely want to be careful with it. Hold it right here and just pull it out like that when you use it. And I think she'll be fine. But if you be too rough with, I think, this armature in this arm, then you might be in trouble. Um, I just want to be transparent about that, but, um, I think, you know, for me, I, I, I guess I just don't get afraid of, like, stuff like that because I'm very, very careful with my babies. I'm never in that much of a rush to where I don't handle them, you know, carefully. I, I think, you know, because I just, I just really just like to treat them like real babies. So, let me show you her backside. All right. So, like I said, I, I do realize she has a few shy spots that I haven't touched. I was going to do it all in the same day, but I just got tired. I'd been up all night, and I just, I just gave it a break. So, she'll get, I'll get back to working on her. But this is her back. She has a cute little bum. This is a cute little bum bum. So now you see how I just bend that little armature upward. So that, and I'll try to, when you do that, all the wrinkles come in. Let me see if I zoom in, you'll see what I'm talking about. I don't know if you see how much, like, her neck and everything is wrinkling. All right. I'm ready to zoom back out. All right. So, of course, you know. She can do her little baby pose that I like for my babies to do. Um, she, this, and sometimes you'll find some babies turn better to one side than the other. She also can suck her thumb too sometimes. But she, she, okay, let me see if I could do, show you guys like, her movement so this is her movement of course like I said she has an armature so the arms are not gonna be so dangly like this is I don't even know if y'all what y'all seeing right now hold on let me let me see all right let's see let's see cuz I don't know what y'all seen in that part but she's She's soft. She's definitely soft enough. She's not a marshmallow soft, but she's she's soft enough to where I I I want to keep her. Like, all right, Let's see, yeah, you guys could see her when she bends. Um, her head does will wobble. I'm not holding it. Um, so like. You know, if she, she'll bend down and forward. All right, so I think she has a very cute uh, girl bit that's very realistic. Um, all right, so what else can I, oh, pacifier. Mm, let me put a little KY on this. 
it's always good if you put some type of lubricant on the pacifiers because the friction of rubbing up against and and not, not Vaseline do a KY original you know don't go getting creative it's the reason why people suggest the same products kind of across the board because people been using them and they've worked and I think it's good to just kind of stick with what you know versus you know it's okay to be experimental on other things but I don't think these are these babies are what you want to be experimental on so as you can see with that it kind of just go right in um let me see what you guys can see so I'm gonna flip her for you guys a little bit I'm gonna flip her like hold on I'm gonna flip her like this that way you can see like her pacifier goes all the way in you can see her little hands a little mouth I actually do think she's a really cute passy baby I do I really think she's a cute passive baby so this this Let's see, let's relax that. We'll relax you a little bit. So she has, um, she does have lots of little veining. Not overly done, but enough to where I think it's realistically done. I really love it. I love the way, like I said, I love the way her coloring came out. All right, let's see what we got, what we working with. <laughs> a little ball self, she needs her hair. All right, let's see. That's her. I think this size is very fun to dress. Let's zoom in. There we go. I hate that this thing want to do what it want to do. want to do its own thing. Let's see. zoom back out because I am going to attempt to put her on she's holding her pink oh my I do want to cover her up this is a zero to three month I think this would be cute on her let's see I was gonna put her on something else but I'm like ah oh, this might be cute on her let's see I think Jaden wore this romper. It's a unisex romper. But I think it'll be so cute on her. So it's good that she will be here for a while. I will interact with her. Um, I will, during that time, anything I see, which I like, I already know the areas I need to touch on her now. Just, you know, it's not a lot of spots left, but. I'll touch those up and I'll get to see how she, you know, how, how she's, uh, as far as like her mobility and how you guys will get to see more of her while she's waiting for her turn to be rooted because occasionally I'll come in and I'll photograph her for you guys and vi maybe even video her, you know, so you guys will get to see, you know, her full potential and it allows me to know that she's good you know when I send send the baby out I like to know that they're good and and like I said she's had a full actually more than one bath so I always that's how I always know like my pain is not gonna like just wipe off because she gets a full full bath so I try to, I'm a collector. So I try 
to make my babies for myself because I always tell myself like if they don't sell I want to be okay with keeping them you know what I mean even though you know I haven't had a problem with selling but that's always my thing and that's another reason why I don't particularly like to to paint babies that I don't like or I don't you know care for the sculpt as much because if I do that <laughs> For one, I don't be too in, too excited and enthused about painting them. And two, I don't um, I don't want to keep them. <laughs> and it's hard for me to sell, you know, like a baby that I don't really like as much. It's hard for me to sit and tell you guys. I, I can't be like, oh, it's so cute. I love this baby when I don't. Because I'm not, I'm not like a car salesman. I'm not good at just selling anything so I am going to take this off and I'm gonna put her on a cuter hat because I just the little hospital hat ain't giving what it's supposed to give So, and we could put her on some socks and maybe I have some right here. They don't really match too much with what she got going on, but we'll put them on her anyway, just so you guys can just kind of get an idea if she was kind of dressed up, even though she's not matching. I love her so much. Like her size is just like so perfect. Um, if you guys are interested, I will later do maybe a size comparison of her and maybe Vegas, because a lot of you guys are familiar with, like, the willows and stuff like that, so you guys can get an idea of her size, but she's a good size. This is, like, I'm going to take it off today. So you guys can get a better view. I don't know why this thing, why is this thing so, uh, so bright? There we go, let's see. That's her. So, huh. okay. Let's get you back over here. Yeah. So yeah, this is this is my little sugar bump. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed playtime with her. That's what I call this. This is like something I do off camera. I will sit and try them out. I want to try them try her with a different passive fire. Uh anti meaty mighty moo. Where's those little clear ones? Uh this one is a good one. So you guys can see her face a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go. But I like I said I a lot of people asking me like they want to see, wanted to see more of her. I show a little peek of my babies ahead of time. Sometimes, um, sometimes I don't like to do that because I know a lot of people get anxious, and sometimes I, I do get pressured into. <laughs> that sounds like so much victimizing here, but um, I do end up giving in and selling them before they're ready to go, and that puts a lot of pressure on me because. My schedule is very unpredictable, and I, I, I don't like to be under the pressure to, like, hurry up and finish them and stuff. And so I try not, I'm trying not to do that where, you know, I got somebody waiting for me to finish rooting them. And then I feel like I just got to, you know, I just, it, it just put a lot of stress on me. And I just don't want to, I just don't want to have that stress. But, um... Oh my gosh, 
like she's so cute like this 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 angle is not giving her justice let's see if we can like come from this angle i don't know but ah uh, i just love her <laughs> but yeah um so that's why you know and i try plus i want to see what the full package is going to look like because and i don't have time to deal with people like oh i liked her before she was rooted and all that and stuff no just let me root her then you can make an inform a really informed decision of the total of her oh i just want to oh i just want to pick her up she's such a good size oh my gosh baby she is wearing that that jumper that that little romper looks so cute on her and that's the good thing about the full body like each show gotta have on an undershirt under it or anything let me see if i turn that to a different angle for you guys like do it baby do it baby do it baby okay 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 look at him cute all right so she's definitely a baby that for people that love to dress their babies like you can't not find her little outfits because she got a little shiny spot right there i'm gonna get that though but we're not gonna worry about that right now right mama oh i ain't gonna i don't want to touch i don't want to take her out of that right this minute that she might sit here till she get have to go get ready okay all right oh mama i love you I don't know what all you what how this come across once it uploads to YouTube. I don't, especially when I do that preview thing, it really drains the quality out of it. And I want to do a preview video with this one, you know, so we could be live and chatting. Um, but I really hate how it does the quality. So, but after it, the preview goes off, and then it comes back and it up you know upload as a regular video i think the quality comes back in a little bit more but for some reason i always find the previews quality be looking a little crappy to me but that's look at her i'm gonna put i'm putting a light some more light back on her so you guys can see her face up close oh my gosh even in her little mouth it looks so real in the pacifier let me show y'all let me see i'm i'm like obsessed with her I've already contacted uh, Kathy about possibly ordering me another one so that I could paint one for myself. I can't afford to keep her right now, but trust me, I'm trying to figure out, like, is it something else I could sell to keep her? That's that's what I... <laughs> but look at that. Look at how I love when they take the little pacifier you can see in their little mouth. Oh, sugar plum. And she, when she get her little eyelashes and eyebrows, I think she's going to be even more adorable that usually brings them together and then her hair the little hands her little chubby little hands are so cute um yeah anyway that is it i'm gonna upload this video for you guys i think i'm even gonna skip my other video that's supposed to win up for today and put this one up just because i'm just so excited about her anyway guys once again she's painted by me and she'll be soon rooted by me she is the gianna sculpt by kathy romero biscuity from silicone studio and again i am not by any means promoting anyone at this time i'm just sharing my love for these babies and what i do i hope you enjoyed this entirely long episode <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video don't forget to give me a thumbs up guys thank you